GDP growth, he claimed was higher under the UDP. <laughs> well, I have, I could send you a, co a copy. This is from SIME. He claimed that it was higher under the UDP. First, he admitted that in the, that in four of their 13 years, there was actually a contraction in GDP. And then you average those with the tepid growth of the other nine, even the IMF, even the IMF concluded that UDP growth was between 1.5 and 2% over their 13 years in office. That's the IDB, that's the, that's the IMF, that's not me. Now let me tell you, UDP, no, the PUP growth during these two years have averaged 13.8%. So Mr. Leader of the opposition, there is egg on your face. He claimed that foreign direct investments and the investment climate were in trouble. But net foreign direct investment flows were $250 million in 2021. $265 million last year, and we expect to meet or exceed those levels this year. 2022 FDI or foreign direct investment under the PUP in 2022, check this out, was 45% more than the foreign direct investment under the UDP in 2019 pre COVID. 45%. Yet here I'm going to tell you. People don't want to invest in Belize. There is a loss in confidence. So again, Mr. Leader of the Opposition, there is egg on your face. He claimed, out of one side of his mouth, that too much money is being allotted in the budget to the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing. $194 million was the figure he cited. He said that over and over that he was in a sleep and he repeat $194 million. And the wife was, you have to start to wake up and tell them, boy, you're talk too much in your sleep. But on the other side of the boat, he took credit for the coastal road, the Caracol road, the Sartaneja road, the upgrading of the PGIA and the Remate bypass, among other current projects. Well, the reason, the reason the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing Budget is $194 million, Mr. Leader of the Opposition, is because this administration, this PUP government, had to find the funds and allot them for the project that the UDP started, but did not fully fund nor finish them. What was, what was it that his father used to come here year and after year to say? He said he had a favorite term due to capacity constraints. Capacity constraints, that nice word for say that they got too much see people in a cabinet so they can't finish the work. Now, let me give you a few examples, Madam Speaker. One, the Belize Integral Security Program. This project was designed and developed in 2010-2011. $60 million project, a $60 million project, and it was signed on the 21st of August, 2015. Remember, Minister of Police and, and Minister of Defense? In 2015, they signed this $60 million project, you know. And this project should have completed in five years. The reality is that this, UP administration in November 2020, when we took over, the money that was used of the $60 million was for what? Just to pay salaries, to cover salaries, office rental, purchase of vehicles, and there was no tangible outputs for the implementation of this project. 